It was shades of last summer as the line at the west entrance snaked back as far as could be seen. Park staff say that was expected. I think we did. I think we did. You know, June's one of our busiest months of the year, and uh, I know people are so excited um, to be able to come back to Yellowstone. We came into town on Monday. We were going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday here, and just had to uh, extend our time a little. Uh -huh. So what'd you do in the interim? Oh, we just saw some things around here, Earthquake Lake and the Grizzly Wolf Center. We heard that more than once. We were going to come yesterday, but we came today. We uh, went out off-roading in a UTV. We rented out a UTV. There's just not a lot of crowd there as well, so um, no, no rush there. And um, we did some water sport activity like jet skiing and then hanging, hanging in the lodge and, you know, having some fun times. That's just what businesses in the Gateway communities were hoping would happen with the majority of visitors who were shut out of the park for a while. Most people seemed calm, but excited to be heading into Yellowstone. And you don't mind the line here? No, we were expecting it. It was also crowded at the south entrance near Grand Teton. It was a three mile wait uh, when we um, arrived. I think we arrived there at 7.30 and it was a three mile uh, line. Once inside, the traffic spread out and the crowding at the gates eased. That meant a lot of people headed straight to Old Faithful. It's a little, um, you know, uncertain right now with the roads and the conditions. So we just want to make sure that we hit the main attraction first and then, you know, look, look around for the other ones. Those we spoke with didn't mind missing a visit to the northern part of the park. They already had a lot to do in the south. Canyon Lake, the Artist Point, um, uh, Norris, um, what else, uh, Grant Lake, the Yellowstone Lake, um, maybe a couple of hikes. Here at Old Faithful, there are pretty typical summertime crowds around the time when the famous geyser goes off. People seem to be enjoying the blue sky day and the fact that almost all services are running as normal here. That was, in fact, the feeling that could be had throughout the busy Madison to Old Faithful corridor. It felt about normal with just a hint of anticipation because of the flood damage not far away. In Yellowstone National Park, John Shearer, MTN News.